Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video we learned how to create mapping table and how to map field values using apply map. In today's video we will continue with mapping table and we'll see how to use mapping table by map using instead of apply map. There are few differences pros and cons using this method. We will see them one by one. The syntax here is for creating a mapping table, you need to use the same mapping prefix. There should be only two fields, but instead of apply map, we are going to use map field name using the mapping table name. And to stop mapping the fields, we can use unmap field name. If we have more than one fields, then we can use unmap field name one, comma field name two, comma field name three, etc. Or to unmap all fields we can use unmap star. So what is the difference between apply map and map using? So in apply map every time the field name is encountered the mapping is being done. But in case of map using the mapping is only done when the field value is getting stored inside the internal table. This is sample data which I am going to use for this example. We have order table where we have order ID, customer, product ID, category ID, quantity and price. We have product table where we have product ID and product. Another table is product target where we have product ID and product target. Same way we have category and category target. To save our time, I have already loaded this table. So our objective is to map product name and category name in a order table. So first of all, we will use keyword map product and here map category and instead of load, we have to use mapping load at both the places. I will create here quantity multiply by price as total sales. So instead of using apply map here, we will use here map field name using table name. So field name here is product ID and table name here is map product. So before loading this mapping table, I have already loaded five tables and created three tables at the front end. First one is based on the order, then category target and product target. So now I will reload this application. So we can see here that the product ID values now replaced by product name. Same in a product target. So what exactly map using is doing? Wherever we have product ID, we have product ID in order table, product ID in product target table. So wherever we have product ID, it will map the product ID values with the product value, but it will not change the name of the field in order table and product target table. So the name of the field in order and product target will be same as it is. So it is a product ID. So if we compare map using with apply map, we can write similar to this so this is what exactly map using is doing because product id is same as this product id we need to comment this one so map product id using map product equal to apply map map product product id as product id so before loading what I will do, I will use two here and we'll see. So I will add two here and you can see that we are still getting the same result. So this product ID based on map using and this product ID two is based on apply map. So I will remove this now. We don't need and here also 
I don't need this. Same way, we will use for category ID. So there are two category ID here, one in order table and one in category target table. So both of them will be mapped by this map category mapping table. So I will reload now and we can see at the front end that the category ID values in order table and category target table both replaced by category name. But the name of the field is same category ID. We can get the same information from data model. We can see here that the name of field is product ID and category ID but the values now showing as product name and category name because of the map using function. So there are benefits of using map using. The first benefit is you don't have to write apply map multiple times. If we want to map the product ID using the map product table in order and product target both then we have to write two times apply map here. Once here and second times here. Same way for the category ID we have to write category ID apply map here and category ID apply map second time in category target table. So instead of using multiple times we can simply mention once and our mapping load will work. But the major issue is in apply map we were using the third parameter for the default mapping. So whenever you don't have any map values any matching values we will get the value based on the third parameter which is the default value. But here you can see we are getting CT005 and P100 which is not matching with the category ID and product ID. So you cannot have default values when the value of matching fields are not matching. So that's the disadvantage here. Also the mapping is done when the value is stored inside the internal table. If your mapping field, this field is a part of expression, you cannot use this. You have to use apply map there. And at last, we are using this statement here, map product ID using map product. So wherever we have product ID, this product ID will map using this map product table. But say, so here we have product ID in order table and product ID in product target table. But say, we don't want to map this product ID here. So before loading of this product target, we have to write unmap product ID. So now when I load this application, product ID will be mapped here, but not in this table. Let's see. So if you go to the data model, the product ID is mapped in order table but product ID is not mapped inside the product target table. Same way we can mention here unmap category ID and now the category ID will map inside the order table but not in the category target table. So category target table we have still category ID but in order table it is mapped to category name. Instead of writing multiple times we can even write something like that unmap product ID category ID. So it will give you the same result. It will not map product ID and category ID after line number 30. So you can see in a data model that we are still getting the same result category ID and product ID not mapped in target table but both are mapped in order table. If we have more fields and we want all of them to stop mapping after line number 30 we can use wildcard character unmap star and it will stop mapping everything. So here we will get the same result. So hope you get clear idea what is the difference between map using and apply map. 
where to use apply map and where to use map using what is the pros and cons in next video we will see how can we use mapping load where we have more than two fields till then thanks and have a great day